The Plymouth District Bar Association sponsors a Law Day celebration at the Plymouth Trial Court every year. Law Day started in 1957 by American Bar Association President Charles S. Ryan and is designed to allow students to learn about law heritage and proceedings. It's a full day for students with activities such as legislative speakers, exhibits, tours and seminars. Another feature is a mock trial, which is run just like a real trial to give youth a realistic view of a courtroom and its proceedings. PCN was invited to attend. Today is a celebration of the rule of law throughout the United States. Here at the Plymouth District Court, we celebrate it in a number of ways. We have judges address students from local schools. We are about to start a mock trial in which the students will be involved as jurors and possible witnesses, depending how things go. We also have displays in our building of various people involved in the system, such as state police, clerks, and things like that. The idea is to give folks an idea what the legal system is all about under circumstances where they have a better take on it rather than as consumers of criminal justice, as it were. My job will be to be as a judge of the mock trial, and as I tell the students every year, you can tell it's a mock trial because we actually start and stop on time. I uh, hear you, hear you. Uh, I call my day into order. Uh, we have, for your consumption, a fairly typical district court criminal case. In our society, in a jury trial, the only person in the courtroom that outranks the judge is the jury. I think it's important for young people because it gives them a chance to get a positive exposure to the legal system as opposed to the one that they get ten, as young adults if they get arrested or get in trouble. Uh, we'd, we'd like to have a more positive view of the system, lawyers and other people involved in the system in general. We hope that it gives them a realistic view of what the legal system is all about. The, me the media tends to portray it either as overly negative or overly positive, and I think we're trying to give them a more realistic, pragmatic view of what it's all about. Uh, defendant, Mr. Dixon is charged with operating a motor vehicle under the influence of alcohol. In this case, the district attorney's office is represented by David Lee. He's an assistant district attorney for Plymouth County. The defendant is represented by attorney Christopher Sheehan. And my burden today is to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that the defendant, Richard Dixon, is guilty of an early mob. The only thing that stands between <clears throat> the awesome power of the state and the right to Mr. Dixon, and ladies and gentlemen of the jury, is so your role here, Mr. Judge Strait, is certainly the most powerful. Please remain standing for your And it's uh, around 4.30 a.m. during your shift where you dispatched to Oak Street for a uh, motor vehicle accident. I was. And at some point along the way, you had a car accident? Yes. Can you explain what happened? Mr. Foreman, have you and your members reached the agreement point of verdict in this case? Yes, Your Honor. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty. I hope they walk away with the idea that the legal system doesn't have to be as mysterious or as negative as most people portray it in the media or they see it in the newspapers or even in their schools.